Fellas, for the first time ever in Destiny 2, any team that completed Crota's End this past weekend during contest mode was automatically awarded the new exotic auto rifle, Necrochasm. Now, this was a very nice incentive for teams to get in there and try to beat Crota, especially considering they turned Crota's End from a joke of a raid back inside of Destiny 1 into one of the toughest contest mode raids we've seen in Destiny 2. Today, we're going to be going over how to unlock Necrochasm for teams out there that weren't able to earn it during contest mode though now keep in mind i do think this is going to be the new norm i think that bungie is going to do this even for the final shape rate they want people taking a stab at contest mode and nothing gets us going more than loot right now first you need to defeat crota son of oryx inside of crota's inn which is free by the way for all players now as far as we can tell you don't even need to complete all the encounters just the final encounter with crota we literally had less jump in with us during contest mode all he did was do Crota and he got Necrochasm immediately. Granted, this is post contest mode, so this is a little different. But if you're only interested in getting Necrochasm, you can find a checkpoint, grab a fire team, and then defeat Crota to then claim the exotic quest. Now, keep in mind, guys, raids really build upon themselves. Like the mechanics you learn at the beginning of the raid continues to expand itself throughout the entire raid, which is why I don't suggest just going straight into Crota, even post contest mode. Like, have a good idea how the mechanics mechanics work here. On top of that, the reprisal version of this raid is just so good and definitely worth experiencing from start to finish. Now, once you've been Crota, at the front of the room, you'll find his sword and you'll be able to interact with it. And this serves as the end of the raid vendor for Crota's Inn, where you can get your one guaranteed red border weapon a week and focus other weapons for spoils of conquest. Now, at the bottom of the vendor screen, you'll find an exotic quest called Bottomless Pit. You acquire the quest and you'll be given a white weapon drop variant of Nexus necrochasm called Husk of the Pit. I know, my D1 players know what's up. Now, this is a three-step quest with the first step reading, Defeat Hive with Husk of the Pit. Husk of the Pit final blows in the Crotazin raid grant additional progress. And this tasks you with defeating 100 Hive enemies with Husk of the Pit, or less if you do end up doing this part inside of Crotazin. But honestly, guys, 100 kills, that is not hard at all. Altars of Sar on the moon is really good. You've got the seasonal activity. Literally, just go kill some Thrall in a lost sector. Really Really easy step to get done. Now, keep in mind, the reason why I said getting into Crota's End might be the better way here, not just for the extra progression on this quest step, but also because the next step of the quest will have you going right back into the raid anyways. So you can literally knock step one out here. Now, upon completing step one of the quest and getting your kills with Husk of the Pit, you'll then be awarded Idolin Ally. This is the legendary version of Necrochasm. You see how this is going, guys? It's like hopscotching to each variant of this weapon. Yes, we will be reviewing this weapon at least for PvP here soon, on top of a deep dive for Necrochasm, fully masterworked. Now, Idolin Ally comes with the perks Arrowhead Break, Ricochet Rounds, Rangefinder, and Perpetual Motion, as well as the origin trait for all Crota weapons, called Curse Thrall, which reads, after defeating a target with a melee attack, final blows with this weapon cause targets to explode for a short duration. Now, keep in mind, this is still not the best auto rifle in the game, by no means, but it's a great option for free-to-play players. Now, the Bottomless Pit Exotic Quest will now progress to step two, where you must collect 20 essences of Oversell. Now, there are two ways to earn these essences. One is by simply completing encounters inside of Crota's Inn, and also by completing triumphs for Crota's Inn. But either way, I would recommend getting very cozy inside of Crota's Inn. Now, an important thing to note is that these essence of the Oversell are retroactive, meaning if you've collected any already before getting this exotic quest, it will still count towards your progress for this quest step, which is amazing. Now, from what we can gather, this essence of the Oversoul is farmable, but it is an RNG drop. So yes, it may take you a while to get all of these essences. Now, as mentioned, there's also 11 additional essence of the Oversoul that you can earn by simply completing certain triumphs. Feel free to check out some of these guys. They're really not that difficult, and you can be knocking them out as you're doing this raid. Now, considering you're going to need Oversouls for both completing the Exotic Catalyst and, of course, completing the Necrochasm quest, what is the most efficient way to farm Oversouls. Guys, I honestly don't know. Like in the Crota's End seal, you see the triumphs where you can grab Oversouls from that, but it appears every encounter is just purely RNG. Now, the running theory is that Crota himself has a higher chance of dropping Oversouls. I'm still testing this though, guys. But if you happen to be doing this raid and you find that Crota is actually dropping more Oversouls for you than other encounters, please let us know in the comments below. Now, upon collecting 20 
essence of the Oversoul. You will then complete step two of the Bottomless Pit quest, and now you can claim the exotic auto rifle Necrochasm from the sword vendor at the end of the raid. Now, we played with this exotic the other day, guys. We had a first impression video. Again, a deep dive is coming soon. But Necrochasm is interesting. It is a weapon of sorrow, meaning, yes, just like Thorn and Ostrastriga, it will synergize with Necronic Grip, which is amazing. Now, interestingly enough, Necrochasm was an arc weapon back inside of D1. Bungie has brought it back to us as a kinetic weapon. Lots of cool things to unpack with this weapon, guys. We'll be discussing it very soon. Now, moving on to how to get the exotic catalyst for Necrochasm, which, by the way, is Outlaw. There's going to be two plates you need to stand on throughout the raid that are going to trigger secret mini encounters. The first of these you will find upon completing the second encounter inside of the raid, that being the bridge encounter. You cross the bridge, but don't go up the stairs like you normally would to then progress the raid. Instead, go to the right and you will see a green plate glowing. Now, equipping Necrochasm and then standing on the plate will activate a prompt in the bottom left corner of your screen that will say Crotus Minions Appear. Now, you're going to want to make sure you put on some good gear for this as you only have a minute and a half to complete this. But essentially, guys, a bunch of gatekeepers and swords are going to start spawning all around this bridge encounter. You and your team need to kill these gatekeepers as fast as you can before that timer runs out. Now, there's also a portal where you start the encounter that will take you back to the other side. But obviously, use your supers, tractor cannon, anything that can allow you to kill these enemies faster. But once all of these enemies are defeated, within that time limit, you will see a new text appear that says Crotus minions have been defeated. Now, if you fail, it will say Crotus minions have disappeared. The good news is you can actually just attempt this as many times as you need until you succeed. Now, the second plate is going to be found after completing the Death Singer encounter. Before you start the Crota boss fight, you'll find another plate in the very back right of the room. Now, the same thing here, guys. You stand on this plate with Necrochasm to start the secret encounter, and you'll have another minute and a half to clear out all the gatekeepers. Now, this was a little bit different, though, as three sword bearers will spawn, and you don't just have a bunch of swords that will spawn like last time. You need to work with your team to kill all the gatekeepers within that same time limit. There's also going to be wizards that spawn in and shoot you, so a tad bit more chaotic. But take advantage of debuffs, supers, anything that can help you get the job done. Now, the sword bearers seem to spawn one on the left, one in the middle, and then one on the right. And the gatekeepers seem to spawn all over the arena. Keep in mind, though, guys, if you do mess up, you can just respawn them all again. It's completely fine to just spawn them, just see where all the enemies are, let them despawn, and then respawn them back again. Now, upon successfully completing this, you will then be awarded the Exotic Catalyst for Necrochasm. Now, to actually complete the Exotic Catalyst, you will need 35 Essence of Oversoul. Similar to, like, the Necrochasm quests, the Oversouls do count retroactively. I had actually received two of these Oversouls, and the moment the Catalyst was finished, they automatically counted. With that being said, the jury is still out on the best way to farm Oversouls. Like I mentioned earlier, it is theorized that Crota is, in fact, the best farm, but as soon as we have something concrete, we will have a pinned comment down below. So guys, that's it. That's how you get Necrochasm. Again, beautiful thing Bungie has done here by incentivizing people to actually go for contest mode. Outside of that, guys, to actually unattach RNG from a raid exotic such as this, I gotta ask you, how do you feel about this? Are you cool with this? Do you like this kind of setup? Do you like that Necrochasm was just dropping for folks upon beating the raid during contest mode? I would love to hear your thoughts. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.